Hi everyone, Dr. Umi from Pain Free and Fit. Today, a great exercise for legs for those of you with degenerative discs, herniated discs, and bulging discs. The hip belt, low cable, split squat. Hope you enjoy. So I've attached a hip dip belt to myself. Remember, that's not a regular weight training belt, but a belt that lays down around your hips on top of your iliac crest so it doesn't put pressure in the low back. The support is down low around the pelvis. I've engaged my RPI, my reverse posture isometric, and set my neutral spine. For me, that's tail under slightly. It's engaged my left multifidus muscle at L5. I'm making sure that I'm not hip hiking on the left side, keeping my hip a little lower, my rib cage a little up. Again, that's my neutral spine position, the alignment and the correction of my posture and movement tendencies that aggravate and stress my lower back discs. Yours is going to be totally different. You may need to engage a slight rotation of your pelvis, a lateral shifting of your rib cage or rotation to bring you back in a more neutral alignment. You may need to decrease the contraction of an internal oblique muscle. You may need to increase the contraction of external obliques. Again, all of this is determined by an analysis of your body mechanics, your posture, your movement tendencies, and learning how to engage these core muscles to set your neutral spine that's unique for you before you do this or any exercise. With that being said, the beauty of this exercise is it allows us to train legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, all with a more translatory anterior to posterior front to back stress on the spine as opposed to an up and down compression. Remember, discs are most likely aggravated in most disc problems by flexion, bending forward on the spine, or with vertical compression on the disc. So this helps us to train legs, but the stress going through the body, the resistance, is more of a front to back resistance. So again, my hip is, my hip belt is low, I have my RPI neutral spine set, my core is set, I'm going to push myself into a starting position, and I'm going to simply do a split squat. Knee down, knee up. Now again, this is a little different. The pressure you're gonna feel is not so much up to down, but it's more back to front. Again, watch my front knee. I'm allowing it to bend, but I'm not allowing it to move forward over the midfoot. I'm keeping it back. That allows me to use a lot more pressure with my posterior chain, like my glutes, my hamstrings. My lower back does have some engagement because it's keeping my core set, but most of the stress you'll feel is from the hips down, sparing the low back of compression. Again, I want to make sure as I'm doing this split squat that I'm keeping four points equal on my feet. If I have a tendency to supinate or lean more towards the outside of my heel, that's going to create a more lateral shifting of my pelvis, which could throw off my neutral spine. If I have a tendency to pronate or lean more on the inside of my heel, that's going to create a hip hiking on that lead side. Hip coming up, ribs coming down, compressing the discs on that side, overstressing or over tensing, stretching the discs on the opposite side. So this exercise, remember that the key mistakes with it are people don't get set before they take the resistance. So my core, my neutral spine, my positioning, my engagement of all my correct muscles for my unique problem are set before I get into a position. I want to make sure also that my back foot isn't angled out in external rotation, but both feet are parallel. I'm inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. You can hold your hands on your hips to check that your hips are level. Again, the typical mistake, like any split squat, is the front hip wants to hike up. So we want to keep that down as we go along. So there we go. Hip belt split squats coming out of the low cable. The resistance is front to back, much easier on the disc. Get a great workout on the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings, and the calves. If you've enjoyed this exercise, would like to learn more, subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great videos out there to help you with disc problems. If you're looking for a great program to figure out what your body mechanics are, how to engage a neutral spine that's tailor fitted for you with the correct muscular contractions and correcting all the muscle imbalances and core stabilization errors that most disc sufferers have, check out our fast track program for degenerative disc disease at painfreeandfit.com. It's appropriate for degenerative discs, herniated, bulging discs. It teaches you step by step how to engage and find a neutral spine based on your own self analysis, and then a step by step program how to rehab, get back into fitness, get working out without aggravating your lower back. Give me a thumbs up to share this valuable information with others. And remember, questions or comments right in, I'll do my best to answer them. I hope this video on hip belt, low cable, split squats helps you with your chronic degenerative, herniated, and bulging discs.